Hello, and welcome to something, should I say, different. <laughs> where are we, do you think? Take a guess, where are we? Are we in the in the world? In a modded biome? Are we in the nether? Are we in another dimension? No, neither of them. We are in the end. It doesn't seem like it, except for the enderman behind me, but that, that's pretty much the only hint you have. <laughs> Otherwise it just looks like a mysterious forest in nighttime, right? But it's not. Welcome to End Survival. Yes, we are indeed in the end. Um, yeah, this is absolutely incredible. This place looks absolutely... Okay, I almost looked at that guy. This place is looking absolutely incredible. And look at those guys. I love them. I love that effect. <laughs> I love these guys. But anyways, welcome to End Survival. Where we, well, you guessed it, survive in the end. Now, this is obviously not vanilla end. This is in Minecraft 1.16, a mod pack of my own creation. And yeah. We, we're gonna try and survive in the end. This is gonna be fun. I have been wanting to do this previously, but I hadn't found anything that to, to really make it interesting. But now, look at this. <laughs> this is incredible. We have multiple new biomes. We have multiple mods in this pack. It's gonna be fun. We, we even have some data packs to spice some things up. Um, so, yeah. Welcome to Ed Survival. Um... I, as as per normal, when you survive, we need some wood. So I'm gonna. But these trees are great, though. Okay, I need to. Can I? Um. Okay, I don't think I can actually get over there, even if I try my best. Wait, can I? Oh, hello. So can I maybe make a little bit of a bridge over here? Because I would love to get over to these trees here. They look cool. This is so slimy. But yeah, I'll uh, explain a little bit more about the pack and what we have, etc. Uh, a little bit later on. But first, let's get some wood. Uh, jungle vines. So as you can see in the top screen here, up here, you can see that we have the better end mod. Which is the one adding, I think it's like 10 new biomes or something like that. But it's not the only mod either. So this is very interesting. We have new ores, we have new stuff. Uh, new foods as well, I think, and hope, because otherwise I'm gonna have a very hard time surviving down here. But yes, end survival, surviving in the end. Uh, the Ender Dragon is currently still well and alive at the middle island, at the main island, but um, as you can see at the coordinates, we are way away from that place. Um, so at the end of the series, we will try and defeat the Ender Dragon by only surviving in the end. So this is going to be very interesting. We are in the outskirts of the uh, big island, so where the normal smaller islands would spawn. All right, these functions as vines, that's good. Look at these huge crystals. That is so cool. This is looking so cool. I'm very excited for this. Now, how do I get down without dying? That's the question. I really don't want to take damage because I don't have food to heal. But I think, yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. I can't see anything with these flowers. Let's, um, <laughs> let's go over here. Ooh, and the fog just disappears. Look at this. Look at this. This, this, this is looking amazing. This is looking absolutely amazing. But I like the fog effect. So we're going to stay right here on this patch. <laughs> I like the fog effect. Okay, umbrella tree planks. All right, let's get started. Let's get some tools. Let's get going. So, a little bit of information about the mod pack. Uh, it is a mod pack, of course, that I have made myself. Hold on, let's get an axe as well, both as a defense, but also so we can get some more wood. I'm not going to make a pickaxe because we will try and get some stone. Um, but the mod pack. Uh, it's a mod pack made by me. It took quite a while to make it because I had to make sure everything is working and so on. Uh, so for right now, the mod pack is only accessible to Patreon supporters. It is $1 a month and it greatly supports me. And eventually the mod pack will be public for everyone to download and install. But for right now, it is 
early access for the Patreon supporters. So yeah, if you're interested in getting the uh, pack early, I suggest you take a look at that. A link to my Patreon page is down below in the description. But again, if you can't or don't want to, that is completely fine. The mod pack will be available for the public at some point in the future. What's this? And stone dust. Oh, that's cool. I did have to work on a data pack myself for this to actually work because I wanted to be able to spawn in the end. Uh, so that is something else that I put a bunch of time into getting to work. So that is another data pack that we have. But another one that is going to be very visual is when we start seeing end cities. Because that data pack completely overhauls the end cities and end ship. I've seen screenshots and that it, it looks absolutely epic right now i need a type of stone we can't use this um normal edge stone as stone unfortunately we need a specific type of stone souvenir we need uh is that different nope that's just my eyes being weird all right uh we need a specific type of stone guys it is more orange than the norm what's this emerald ice well, that's one of the crystal. Oh, oh, it's actually slippery. Ancient emerald ice. Okay, we'll have to take a look at if we can get something out of that. Um, but I'm looking for that stone stuff. Because we need it. We also have new ores, or should have new ores generating as well. Uh, giving new materials and metals and stuff like that. So we can craft different types of armor and tools. It, it's going to be epic. I'm very excited for this, and I hope you guys are too. Come on, we gotta. Where's the stone at? It's it's not. That's the stone I need. Of course, it's at the worst. Uh, yeah, the worst place ever. Okay, maybe it's not more orange. Maybe it's more like pinkish. I don't know. Flavor light. Hmm. Anyways, this could be used as stone. <laughs> so we need a bit of this. We want a furnace. We want a stone pickaxe, we want a stone axe, and we want some extra, of course, just to be able to uh, to get along. Like, look at, look, hold on, look at that crystal over there. That's gonna be so cool exploring all of this. So yeah, this series is just it's gonna be, it's gonna be chill. I'm gonna include a lot of stuff on camera. I'm not gonna do a whole lot off camera. There will be a lot of exploration and stuff like that. We will do some building as well because these are all new blocks, and it's gonna be very cool to try and build some stuff with them. I believe we will also have new type of ruins and stuff generating as well. Don't know how much. So we will have to be doing a lot of exploring to figure that out. Also, I will need to do research on what to eat <laughs> and also where different ores spawn because we obviously we want those ores. Um, and yeah, stuff like that. All right, I have 28 flavor light now. Flavor light, flavor light. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Flavor light, flavor light, flavor light. I kind of like flavor light. Oh, wait. Hold up, hold up. I want to see those. Nope. There's a spot. There's a spot, and I want to get to it. Look at that. They look so cool. Look at those. That's epic. I love the. Oh, no. Did I look at them? Nope. I think we're good. Okay. Good. Um, I don't know why I want to make a furnace, <laughs> but I've got to make one. It's, it's not like I can use it for anything, but um, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to make it. Because <laughs> you never know, I guess. <laughs> Alright, an axe that's going to function as a weapon. We'll use the old uh, tools to get new stuff. Now, are we going to actually have end reborn? Yes, that is another end mod as well. Gummy fruit. Collect organa fruit. Okay, so that is some type of food, I guess. Um... This is just the vanilla stuff, it seems. Okay. Um, I guess we should work on a shelter just to get ourselves situated, get started, um, and get a base of operations. Now, these trees, they're quite big, quite thick. Um, so maybe, maybe we just put a hole in one of them. <laughs> like this, oh, this one is huge down here in the trunk. I vote we just dig in like right there. I can see a door right here with some glass and stuff. Yeah, I like that idea. I like that idea. I think I see a door here. Maybe a window here. 
I just think getting a base up and running, getting some chest placed and stuff like that, I think that is going to be a good first episode, getting ourselves uh, situated here. The mod, I can say the mod pack itself has 16 mods in total. Um, one of which, of course, is better and another one is that uh, mod up there you see at the top screen where you can see the block I'm looking at. And I'm actually gonna chop you out and do... Uh, that's not what I wanted. I guess we can have a basement eventually. Yeah, why not? We'll have a basement. How about that? Alright, looks like we're getting to the outside world. Let's place a crafting tool there. Can we make... Um, okay, so this is umbrella tree, but this other type of wood, can, do I have, yes, lovely, uh, I saw this other type of wood over here, it's this one, jelly shroom, that is gonna give a whole nother, uh, colored wood, and I really want it, <laughs> so I'm gonna get it, I hear a slime, but it might just be the enderman, jumping on this because it's like it breaks instantly and it acts like slime blocks so yeah i think it's just that it lost its color when i broke it though that's sad uh so yeah definitely put a door here maybe we could get some glass as well huh i'll have to go i'm trying to mine wood with a wood with a pickaxe great job me uh i definitely want some kind of chest maybe so there should be, yes, different colored stuff. And I think actually I'm gonna break you and I'm gonna make that just to add some color difference. Um, and I assume I can make, yes, jelly shroom trap door. Maybe that would look better in this so it blends in more, maybe? I'm, ju I'm just experimenting here. It's fine, I don't really mind using up wood resource. Oh. That's kind of cool, actually. All right, let's put some of this unnecessary stuff in here. Uh, always have a crafting table with us, something like that. All right. I do actually want to get a blue door if I can. Let's see if I can. Uh, I'm really taking this whole thing down. <laughs> All right, I should have enough for a door, jelly shroom door. Yeah, I like that. Kinda like it. Kinda like it. Then maybe we, if we can get some light here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I better remember this spot. I'm gonna try, well, I gotta stop running because I need food and I don't have any food as of right now. And I don't think any of this stuff can be right clicked or punched or anything to drop what they have. Um, unfortunately, oh, this is good. This is good. Oh wait, this is a set we need, um, but this is good. We have more of this stone here, so we're not completely out. And it looks like we have more or less pretty good access to one of these crystals. Question is if they have anything valuable. Oh, what? what is that? Okay, that, that's something ruined. I see a bookshelf in there. Um, okay, we gotta focus. Gotta focus. Priorities. Priority right now is our shelter and getting that up and going. Uh, I don't know if any of this stuff can be eaten. Nope. Hmm. Food seems a little bit of an issue at the moment. We need to figure out what we can eat to survive. I'm thinking maybe chopping this out as well and then putting glass here so we can see all the way in maybe. Or maybe just that. Yeah, let's try that. Um, we have the wooden tools we can manage. We have, we're surrounded by wood. We're not gonna be missing out on uh, things to smelt. Question is, can we actually make charcoal with this? That is actually something I wanna know. All right, we got our glass, but first I wanna see if we can make, oh wait, we can make charcoal it seems. What hurt you? Oh, maybe the water, is there water around here? Yeah, there is water. Okay, I think that's what happened. It fell down into the water. Good job. Ooh, okay, so we can get charcoal. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so I have one piece of glass for right now. Yeah, 
I like that. I like that. Now it doesn't seem like we have any special end torch. Um, but as you can see, this is all the content from the better end mod alone. And we have a lot. What's that? Glowing bulb. We have a lot of cool stuff here. Endstone smelter. Eternal pedestal. Infusion pedestal. As you can see, we have some ores here. Respawn obelisk. What is this? Amber block. Eternal crystal. How do I get all that? This looks edible. These chania. Whatever they are. I don't know how to get them. But we have a bunch of like seeds here. Saplings. Seeds. So that might be something edible. I don't know. Okay, so I just clicked on this thing to see what it was used for. And what on earth is that? We have some magical stuff in this as well. Oh my. <laughs> this is cool. Wait, what's this? End lotus seed. Oh, I thought that was like a, like, yeah, a fruit. All right, we now have eight charcoal. So that means we can now get, um, I thought I'm going to need two doors. Well, maybe we want a back door, so I'm not going to use those. Uh, so I should be able to then, like, make a few torches, maybe? Okay, that's gonna be good to marking our area around us, so... Let's maybe place a torch here, like that, and right up... Eh, that looks dumb. Yeah, I dig that. That's good. I like it. Alright, and our glass is done. Give me that. Place, place. Yeah, now we can look outside, see what is going on. We can even stare at the Enderman and they won't care much, hopefully. <laughs> now maybe I could just place a few stairs here just to make it easier to get up to where I need to be. Yeah, that that's that's kind of cool. Kind of like that. Kind of like it. I think I like it. Right. I am very tempted to see what is over by that weird ruined structure, whatever it was. Let's just go over there real quick. Hold up, we got another structure. We got something else blending in pretty well. What is that? Huh? I didn't even see that. That That's creepy. And then we have that. Okay, so we have that structure, and we have that weird structure. Plus, I need food. And it's very dangerous for me to look this way because I don't know if I'm looking at an Enderman. <laughs> so doing that perspective is going, I have to be probably something like this. Well, guys, I think it is a pretty good wrapping up point for the first episode. I know we didn't get much done, but this is more like an introduction uh, to this. Now we have... Where's my base of operations? There it is. Okay. So now we have a little bit of base operations. Um... Looking absolutely terrible. I might change that glass off camera because I honestly, I don't know if I like that. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. I might change a little bit of this to make it a little bit nicer or at least think of an idea <laughs> to make it look better. Um, but guys, I hope you have enjoyed this first episode and I hope you are hyped about this series because I sure am. I cannot wait to explore what this end has to offer. It's going to be so fun and so interesting. I've not played with this mod before, so I am very, very excited for this. And I hope that you are too. If you're hyped for this, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And by the way, I should say that it is not a replacement for Nether Survival. Nether Survival is completely different. It is separate. It is not, nothing to do with this. This is separate. This is something new. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it here. I really hope you have enjoyed. In the next episode, we are going to see if we can get some food because half my hunger is, is down and I'm hungry. Um, and maybe we'll take a look at one of those structures. Who knows? Maybe that has food. I don't know. We will have to see. Let me know which one of the structures you think we should go to first. The one closest to us or the one furthest away. I don't know. The closest one could be a ticking mob spawner bomb thing I, I i don't know <laughs> i don't know let me know down in the comments which one we should go to first but anyways really hope you enjoy it and i hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful day and goodbye i'm gonna leave it here before i keep rambling on about random weird unrelated stuff <laughs> Bye.
Ayaka.